हेलो एवरीवन नमस्ते सभी को आई एम अक्षय फाउंडर ऑफ सोलर क्लू डॉट कॉम एंड एन एक्सपर्ट इन सोलर इंडस्ट्री वी हैव येट अनदर वीडियो इन सोलर इंडस्ट्री दिस इज द सेकंड पार्ट इन सोलर वाटर हीटर सेक्शन इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉच दैट वीडियो प्लीज वॉच दैट वीडियो वी विल पुट द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सेक्शन आफ्टर वॉचिंग दैट वीडियो देन यू कम टू द सेकंड वीडियो इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट वी हैव टोल्ड हाउ टू सिलेक्ट द साइज वॉट इज द डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ सोलर वाटर हीटर हाउ टू सेलेक्ट दैट एंड अदर फैक्टर्स ऑल्सो इफ यू हैव ऑलरेडी सेलेक्टेड दोज यू विल गेट कन्फ्यूज fusion in selecting the brand of the solar water heater and that is the most important topic ki how to select the brand how to select a product so suppose you want to purchase a solar water heater so there are two categories you want to to buy a 200 liter non pressurized tubular model and there is a second category you want to buy 200 lpd pressurized panel model in these two types of categories the selection procedure of a solar water heater is different and different so i will be covering up both the topics how to select a tubular model and how to select a panel model one thumb rule you remember don't select the brand first a particular brand can have a low quality product average quality product, product and a high quality product also so it doesn't matter which brand you select if you selected a very good brand but you selected a low quality product then that is of no use it will not run for longer longer years so first of all you have to select and you have to know which product is higher quality for that you watch the video till the end and please like and share our video first suppose we wanted to go for a non pressurized tubular type of model so if you look closely a tubular type model have three parts one is tank one is stand third part is tube stand and tubes of every companies are same there is no much of difference and you don't have to look into that also now the third part is tank and tank is the most important part in terms of quality the tank determines your quality so in tank also you have three layers outer tank which you see from outside and it protects your water heater from sun or rain or from outer atmosphere the middle tank which is known as puff insulation or insulation once the water gets heated in a solar water heater it will remain heated for 48 hours so this outer tank and puff insulation both are same in every company and there is no difference so we don't have to look into these factors also most important part is inner tank and coating on inner tank or the protection on inner tank so inner tank is most important so we will look into the inner tank part first now if you look into the inner tank inner tank are of various varieties you have stainless steel 304 l grade type stainless steel 316 l grade type you have galvanized iron type hot dip galvanized iron type and copper tank type so these are the inner tank materials if you see stainless steel 304 l grade type will be the lowest quality and the copper tank will be the highest quality and the ranking wise i have told you the names try to choose the copper one or hot dip galvanized iron one but you have to look into the price factor also you should not be looking at the copper type and if the copper type prices is higher then it's of no use you can select the galvanized iron type also second part is what is the inner tank thickness material we have decided then what is the inner tank thickness so it should not be like ki we have selected a very high quality tank, inner tank but the thickness of that is very low if thickness is low the corrosion will happen faster and the tank will leak faster so our thickness should be higher and how much is the thickness so many companies give you 0.5 mm 0.7 mm 1 mm till 1.5 mm also you will get or sometimes some company gives you 2 mm also so in tubular model you will get thickness between 0.5 mm to 2 mm higher the thickness better it is so second part is done the third part is what is the protection on that salt is the biggest enemy of your solar water heater when water comes along with the salt inside your inner tank the salt try to stick everywhere inside the system and year by year this salt will get deposited more and more and more and after some years they will start eating your tank and a hole will be made and the corrosion will start and water will start leaking from there we have to protect our inner tank from these factors so companies usually do two types of protection one is a uh, sacrificial anode type protection in this some many times you have seen there is a rod inside the tank and this rod is known as sacrificial anode rod in from the name itself you can understand this rod will sacrifice itself to save your tank what will happen when the water will come inside the tank with a lot of salt this rod will act as a filter it will capture all the salt and the corrosion has to happen it will happen on the rod not on the tank and that is why after some years your rod will corrode and you may have to replace this rod in 3 to 5 years depending on what is the water hardness of your area 
and the fourth one is you, you can protect your soul if you have a inner coating so many a times the inner tank is coated with the uh, you know, glass coating or blue coating or multiple types of coating comes ceramic coating is also there so what happens in this type your inner tank is fully covered and coated with some kind of coating now the salt will come it will try to stick but it will not be able to stick properly because glass is slippery and second is glass is insulator and you already know that on insulators corrosion doesn't happen that is why whenever you will see if the inner tank is coated with some kind of coating the warranty you will get is 10 years so that is why they will run longer so these are the three major important points but what happens it will take a lot of time for a common person to understand the inner tank material inner tank thickness and uh, the protection in it in simple way may I will give you one biggest clue so if you think this three factor selection uh, is very tough for you you can skip this part I will tell you the easiest part on how to select and it's a very good trick you have to check how much a solar water heater can handle water hardness how much water hardness that water heater can handle and you will get this thing in a specification if that water heater can handle more water hardness is more quality that means the inner tank material is good thickness is good protection is good everything is good with that product that is why it can handle more water hardness example let's say one product can handle 1000 ppm of water hardness, and second product is there which can handle 2000 ppm of water hardness. that means that 2000 ppm handling capacity product can handle more water hardness and that is why it is more quality so don't think anything about inner tank material thickness and protection directly you can choose that product which can handle 2000 ppm of water hardness so it's that easy for you so we have done selecting our tubular type water heater in which directly you can see which water heater can handle more water hardness and that is more quality now coming to the same thing in a pressurized solar water heater suppose you wanted to buy a pressurized solar water heater of 200 lpd capacity or whatever capacity then how you are going to select your water heater the first point we have to see how much pressure a water heater can handle and whatever i am saying you have to see that will be written in the specification section you can go to our solar glue website also and every product specification is written clearly you can read that so first we have to see how much pressure a water heater can handle since the pressurized water heater is meant to handle pressure how much it is handling higher it handles better it is that means the strength of the water heater is more so many companies like new Racold solar anu solar or vigard solar and many others can handle 8 kg pressure or 8 bar pressure many companies can handle 5 bar or 6 bar pressure some companies are there which can handle 3 bar pressure also that means the one which can handle 8 bar pressure is higher quality second step you have to choose is how much warranty the company is giving higher the warranty better it is so companies like anu solar and Racold solar gives you 5 5 year of warranty while vigard is a good company but it gives you one year warranty that is the only lagging part in vigard and remaining companies whatever you see in this industry will give you one year warranty I am talking about the major brands in India after selecting the warranty also and third we have to select quality the genuine quality in here the quality how to select point number a you see the solar panels there are solar panels will come on your solar water heater so suppose you buy 200 liter you will get two panels now in panels if you look closely from top to bottom you will see copper stripping or any kind of metallic stripping you will see just like there is a tape on the panel this comes two types some many companies give you copper type and many company gives you aluminium type also so you always prefer copper because copper have a better sun soaking capability and it will heat your water faster so companies like vigard anu solar gives you copper stripping and that is why you have to choose copper stripping even barrister solar gives you copper stripping now some companies gives you aluminium and you have to avoid aluminium if you don't have a budget you can go for aluminium but try to go for copper part b in quality is inner tank thickness higher the thickness better it is so companies like anu solar vigard solar or other solar companies gives you a high thickness of 3 3.5 mm here the range you will see from 2 mm to 3.5 mm in tubular type of model as i said you will get thickness between 0.5 mm to 1.5 mm or 2 mm here the thickness starts from 2 mm and goes to 3.5 mm also. fourth is price factor also you don't have to buy an 
exclusive high quality product in the name of brand you can buy product in terms of this selection procedures which i have told you just now and if it is coming in the lower price you can go ahead with that product also fifth is service now wherever you are in india in bangalore if you are living or in specifically in a in a metro cities then you don't have to take attention because you will get a good service from any company but if you are living in a tier 2 or tier 3 cities first check if which brand have more presence in that city and how they will give you the service so after watching this two part tubular model and panel model selection procedure you will be very clear ki which brands to buy which product to buy now suppose after doing this you will get products okay i will be buying this quality wala product then select ki which which brand is giving you this and on your favorite brand you can buy like that don't select the brand first and product later do select the product first then brand and by this procedure it will be very very easy for you to select a solar water heater so in this video you have clearly understood which product you have to buy and which brand you have to buy hope you have liked this video you please support us by liking this video or sharing the video to the people who wants to buy a solar water heater uh, if you have any kind of doubt or you have any kind of question please comment down we will be answering all the question thank you thank you so much